Look at my channel, guys. Today, and my me and my dad are going to feed the cows, and me and daddy are working on the chicken too. And it's taller than me. It's taller than you. Yeah, I can't. That's right. It is taller than you. Yeah. So Ransom said, welcome back to the channel. Today we have um, some more work to do on this chicken coop. And as Ransom said, we gotta feed the cows. Yeah. One, one cow or bull specifically though, yeah. Old Easy Street is up in the pen and we're gonna try to get a bell of hay in there to him to make sure he has plenty to eat. And we are gonna try to do some more work on the chicken coop. Yeah. Today, yeah. we're gonna finish our framing. So we got all the walls up yeah. last time. And yeah. I think last time we didn't quite have this one up, but me and Ransom did this one after we finished videoing last time. And uh, it's up now. It's the back wall where there'll be a door. So a little door down here for the chickens to come in and out. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have another access door over here. Today though, one thing we are gonna do is build some nest boxes. So we're gonna get our nest boxes framed out right here over the wheel. And I think that's about it, Ransom. Yeah. We might try to get the roof on too. So we're gonna get some work done on here though, but like I said, we need to knock out the bell of hay going over to the bull, and then we'll get to work on the mobile chicken coop. You ready to work, Ransom? I'll have to get your tools out. Mm -hmm. I need my hammer and my tool right? Did you lose them yet, or did you still have all of them? Right there. You still got them all. All right, let's get to work. Yeah. Make it a little easier just to drop it and keep going. Well, for some reason, my camera stopped recording. Um, the bull pushed around on that bell a little bit more, kind of sp scattered it out a little bit for us. Um, but I was still able to get the hay ring around most of it, and it's gonna work out just fine. But as you can see, that bull, uh, Easy Street was just using that as a toy, the uh, big hay bell. Easy, why you gotta mess with that hay like that? But I wanna, I got him some feed so he'd leave it alone so I could go ahead and put the hay ring around what was left. Um, but now he's got some fresh hay over there and this will just ensure that he's got plenty to eat um, for the next uh, couple months. Did I make you sneeze? <laughs> He's shoving around on that hay. He got, got some allergies from it or something, buddy. Well, I'm getting started on the chicken tractor. Ransom had to go in because he was thirsty. Um, he gets thirsty pretty often. So he went inside, grabbed something to drink. But uh, I don't really have any blueprints I'm going off of here. Just kind of making it up as I go along. 
Hope that works out. But I've got some old four by four pieces of scrap that were left over from drop um, when I built the frame. So I'm putting these here on the corners and then I'm gonna secure it um, right here with a two by four treated on the outside. What you got, Ransom? What's that called? A tape measure. He's got his tape measure. And, He's... and this wheel move. You see that wheel move? Mm-hmm. He's been measuring stuff. So we've got the chicken nest boxes framed up partially. Again, just figuring it out as we go. Yep. The other side will be a little easier. Because this. we got it already figured out. This, oh, this can be for the baby chickens. That's for the baby chickens? Yeah. Ransom, where's the chimney going to go? Cross. Hmm? Across, like, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll have to figure out a good spot for it. You gotta make sure those chickens get their presents. Yeah, probably a white. What if they're on the naughty list? They're not naughty. They could be. They're not. I'm getting it uh, prepped for caulking around the bottom for the floor. So Cassie's cleaning it out. We're gonna caulk all the edges right down here. Why? Right. So if water gets spilled in there or moisture, it doesn't go under the walls. It stays out in the middle and gets cleaned up. Look at that caulking job. Don't look too close. I ain't, I ain't taking my time. Looks good to me. Just making some chickens happy. All right, got the other side finished up. So nest box number two. So I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but I was going for a fender effect on the trailer. So that's why the nest boxes are both over the fenders like that. All right guys, we're out here in the garden because we've been doing some cleanup and there was some grass over here, but it's dead now. We took out all the old tubs. We took out our cucumber stuff and the old tomato cages. So what are we gonna do guys? Burn. Burn them. Ransom, what's your favorite thing to do? To burn those. Burn stuff? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna clean this up um, because our tomatoes are still doing good and our sweet potatoes, but we're going to plant some stuff right here and I really just want to get this cleaned up. So you guys ready to burn it? Yeah. yeah. That is, it burn. Do we have any water bottles? All right, we're burning There's some old feed sacks. It wouldn't take off by itself, but we had a little feed sacks to help. All right, we just went into the post office box and we got a card. Open it up, Ranger. Another package. <laughs> All right, open that one. Whoa. What was that? Stickers. Five dollars? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Ranger. You got your first mail. Yay. <laughs> Who's it from? Um, Linda. Awesome. What do you say? Thank you. So thank you so much, Linda. You did not have to do that. Um, thank you for the card and the stickers and the money. Um, you truly didn't have to do that. We truly appreciate it. Um, it looks like Linda tried sending that and it got sent back to her and she had to send it again. So we appreciate that. Our um, P.O. box was messed up for a little bit. Uh, they didn't have us down or something. I'm not sure. But we got that all fixed. So Linda, we appreciate you sending that back. Ranger, you want to say anything else? Thank you. So I'm down here in the pasture because we have a special surprise for you guys. The newest member of Walker Farm arrived a couple of days ago. And I walked down here yesterday, but mama had her hid. So this is our first fall calf. 
of the year. So we're excited that it's fall. This is kind of how I ring in fall officially. Um, you know, some people go by whether Starbucks is serving pumpkin spice or not, but here on the farm, it's when that first baby calf hits the ground uh, for fall. So we're excited about that. And let's go take a look real quick. So there you have it. Welcome to fall. I think he's probably about two days old now. Uh, so up, oh, doing good. Mama's doing good. And I'm just gonna leave well enough alone right here for the next few days. She'll start bringing him around with the rest of the herd. And when I can get her up in a lot, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and um, take care of the calf as far as tagging it and that kind of stuff. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, we're always thankful when a new calf is born. That means uh, we have another animal that's either going to provide meat for our family or just keep our farm going. So one way or the other, we're super thankful and blessed and grateful that this calf is on the ground. So it is one of our most favorite times of the year. As Gary said, fall brings calving weather, but it brings something else and it brings soccer season. So we're super excited for soccer season this year. We missed it back in the spring due to all the craziness but we are back and we are ready to play so ransom is playing soccer for the first time this year and we can't wait to see that and ranger is starting his fifth season of soccer so uh, we're excited the coaches are all doing a great job of keeping the kids safe and spread out the good thing about soccer is you don't use your hands you just use your feet so um not much germ sharing there so we're so excited ranger had his first scrimmage he did awesome. He's playing up in U12. He's only nine, um, but he's playing up this year. And I got a few clips for you and you'll be seeing more soccer stuff to come. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. What is he doing? Oh. What was he waiting on? Right there. <laughs> Anthony, you got scared on me? <laughs> 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 he's going to be in the blue. So Ransom had his checkup the other day with his doctor for his surgery he had a few weeks ago. Tonsils and adenoids are looking great. He's doing awesome and we don't have to go back. So we are thankful for that. And thank you to all those who have been praying for him and uh, on his healing. Everything's looking good. We got something in the mail. Kind of loud. So on the front, it says Walker Farm Fam, but I'm gonna open it by myself because I think I know what it is and I got dibs on it. All right, you guys ready to see inside? Ooh, whoa! Man, I should have let the kids open it too. This is what I thought I was getting, 5M Family Homestead. They sent us a new hat, and aren't these hats awesome? Five in Family Homestead, they got that YouTube play button on it. I'm currently wearing Adler Farms, our friends over there, Chad and Case, but sorry guys, but I gotta wear a new one for today. You guys know I love hats, ready? And I'm back. So. Thank you guys for the hat. When Gary sees it, he's gonna try to steal it from me, but it's perfectly okay. We can share. But there's some stuff inside that you guys didn't have to do. That That is truly awesome. And this goes to show you how awesome of a family these people are. I'm gonna go ahead and show you, um, and then I'll show the kids in a second. So we got some crazy bands. Those are probably uh, for Mazzy, although her brothers are gonna try to steal them. A monster truck. Ransom loves monster trucks. He's going to die. He's going to be so excited. And then another monster truck. So him and Ranger can share and play together. 
Tobin, Shannon, kids, y'all are awesome. You did not have to do that. Um, we truly appreciate that. I don't know how long ago we met 5M Family Homestead. It was through YouTube and we instantly became friends. Shannon and I text back and forth quite often. And uh, right now we're talking about quail and stuff. They're thinking about starting that. I'm no quail expert, but I love to try to help and share what I have learned. And um, they got these new hats and wanted to, to send us one. And so I got it and I thought, you know, it's just a hat. And then I open it up and there's stuff for the kids. And I truly appreciate that. You guys did not have to do that. It got windy, so I had to change my spot. But like I said, we met them on YouTube um, several months ago. But it's like we've been friends forever. And it's just crazy how this YouTube community works. 5M Family Homestead, thank you for the awesome hat. We truly, truly appreciate it. But more than anything, we appreciate the stuff you sent to the kids. That means more to us um, than anything. And we we can't just we can't say thank you enough. So we've met some awesome people through this YouTube community that several of them, I feel like if we called them up and said, hey, we really need some help on the farm. Can y'all help us? They would be here as soon as they possibly could. And we we truly appreciate that. Um, those kind of people are hard to find. Um, it's not about um, a race or a competition. It's not about who's got the mo most subs, who's got the most views. It's not about any of those things. It's about a true friendship, a, a true homestead community and helping one another out. And um, we just can't say thank you enough and we appreciate it. So we had a busy week this week so far. Uh, Ranger going to soccer practice and Ransom to the doctor today. But I did find a little bit of time to do a little work on the coop. So I scribed the roof rafters. I believe that's the correct terminology. Basically just took a little notch out there uh, to where they would set a slat onto the, the uh, walls there as possible. So I did that all the way down. Um, can't say I've ever done that before, but there's a first time for everything. As you can see, we're going with a slant roof. So we did have a couple people ask, why is one wall taller than the other wall? Um, this tall wall is four inches taller than that wall. So the rain will slant. Whenever you have a metal roof, you don't hardly need any pitch at all. Um, it isn't really required. So just to minimize the uh, amount of lumber and stuff, we went with a simple uh, slanted roof on the chicken coop. Also, one other question I was going to answer real quick. So the other question we had was, is that roof tall enough for you to get in it and walk around? And the answer to that is no. So it's not um, intended to be moved around inside of or walked in. So really all that we want to do is be able to open up this door right here. And whenever I stand next to it, I'll be able to reach a pretty good ways in there. So that's about four feet. And then on the other side, we'll have a door over there and we'll be able to reach the same distance on that side. So we should be able to reach pretty good. Also, we could get a, a broom to push out um, the shavings if we needed to, but we do not want to have to get in the coop and move around inside there. Uh, we really want to be able to come up here and gather our eggs right here and be able to turn the chickens in and out on the back door that's going to be back here. So just a few questions that have popped up along the way. I wanted to get those answered. Um, but there you go. That's what we've been working on. One last thing is that we do have the lumber ordered that's going to be the siding for the chicken coop. Um, it's going to be a board and batten siding. Um, and it should be ready in a couple days at the, at the longest. Uh, they'll give us a call when it's ready. So more to come on that. I don't know if we'll have it by this weekend, but if we do, we might get some more work done on it this weekend. So thank you guys so much for following along. Um, hopefully we're not boring you too much with the chicken coop build, but it is something that I hope to keep in the family for a long time. So we want to kind of capture the little bit of progress that we do as we do it. So thank you guys so much for following along. We do appreciate it. And I hope you are having a great week and that stays that way. Um, have a great day. God bless.